my dad moved from Argentina when he was 17 and went through this whole like journey to Chile and to Colombia and then he somehow ended up in Miami because some of his relatives were staying there. And then he actually happened to go to some party that my mom was also going to and that's how they met and whatever, fell in love, got married. And my father's Argentinian and my mom's Cuban-American, born in New York. And you were born? I was born in Miami, born and raised. The experience really, like a lot of kids in Miami are bicultural, but then they, there are kids that are just, you know, gringos or, or, or whatever. Um, a lot of my friends are bicultural and I think it's it's been great because I think it's great to be able to speak two languages, especially nowadays, and also to be able to experience kind of like two different kinds of worlds, you know, traditions from, you know, America and also from wherever your parents may be from. Well, with my mother, I speak in English. With my father, I speak in Spanish. And with most of my friends, I speak in English. Some friends I speak in Spanish with. Um, I guess... Uh, Sometimes when, when I'm joking around and saying things in Spanish, I say it in Cuban, um, but when I'm really pissed off, I speak Argentinian. <laughs>
And I mean, I'm not encouraging people to, you know, like fuck up or whatever. I'm just, you know, saying like it's perfectly normal, like no one's perfect. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, not only feeling pressure from parents, but from school and just peer pressure, like you feel you have to be this certain uh, person that you're not. And I just I'm, I'm telling I'm telling them to just be themselves, because at the end of the day, that's what separates you from everyone else. Um, I, I believe that this experience has actually made me grow up pretty fast. I mean, only with recording an album, I'd go to school during the day and then right after school I'd drive an hour away and go to the studio and record and be there till like really late at night. But you know what, like I had a lot of fun and I eventually had to leave school to dedicate myself to this because it was becoming too hard, I was getting too worn out, you know, like being in school and then doing this whole different other thing that involved a lot of energy at the same time. I just had to, you know, pick one or the other. So obviously I picked music and we were recording the album with Sebastian Chris and Gustavo Menendez. They were the producers. And sometimes I would get together with some writers and write songs for the album. Um, and that's how we recorded the album. And this experience has been a great experience. Um, I mean, once again, I recorded this album when I was like 15 came out when I was 16 and we've gotten very far. Well, a lot of times, like besides the people that are inside my circle in this industry, like my team of people, uh, people outside uh, sometimes in the beginning wouldn't really take me too seriously or they would try, try to change me and be like, look, you know, honey, if, if you wanted to work out, you know, you have to dress like this and you have to sing like this and you have to dance. And I'm like, no, 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 you know. And they just wouldn't take me seriously with what I say or whatever because of my age. They'd be like, you know, she's just a stupid little, you know, rebellious 15, 16 year old kid. And that would be hard sometimes. And, and sometimes I'd be scared to say something because they would say that. But I've learned that, that you know, as long as the people that support me, believe me and, and support what I say and take the opportunity to sit down and listen to what I have to say, then that's really all that matters. I think that people can be uh, very stereotypical when they don't know anything about something. And just that's the way humans are. That's the way they'll always be, no matter what. And um, I, I think that a lot of uh, bicultural, you know, Latino Americans uh, or people like me find it difficult to like you know like you say like oh you know my parents are, are hispanic so therefore people are like okay so that means you're hispanic or you're like oh i was born in miami but my parents are hispanic so they're like okay so that doesn't mean you're hispanic so it's like but wait i'm like both and a lot of times people don't really understand that un unless you know you know someone that's just like that and it's kind of something hard to explain um i've never really been ashamed of that um, I've always been very proud of it, and I've always thought it was very cool, actually. I've, I've always thought it was, like, super cool to be able to, like, have a father that's, like, from somewhere else than where you were born, or a mother whose parents are, like, from some other place. I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that once I started doing promotion and touring and all of that, that I'd actually miss school. <laughs> but I did just because I, did, you know, I didn't realize that, you know, now I couldn't be with my friends all the time, you know, from whatever time of day to like 2.30 in the afternoon. And now it was just like me being around a bunch of, you know, not old people, <laughs> but people that are, you know, twice my age or, or whatnot. And that kind of sucked for a while. I mean, now I'm used to it. But at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't have changed it for anything in the world. Like, I was willing to give that up in order to be able to, like, get on stage every night and play my songs for my fans. Like, there was no better feeling in the world than that. And it's definitely be been an experience. And I think I've grown a lot. And I think I'll keep growing. Um, I think that the first thing that came to my mind when I was nominated for three Grammys. I was, I was really shocked, first of all, that I would get nominated with my first album that I recorded when I was 15, you know, um, and just really honored to know that so many people believe in me, I guess. I was really, really shocked. 
And for me, just being nominated was like a really big honor uh, for me, just knowing that there's so many people that believe in my art, that support me, and that are saying, hey, you know, we, we like your music, you know, we want to put you out there, we believe in you, we're backing you up. And I thought that that was really cool. Honestly, I mean, all of them were really important to me because it wasn't, it wasn't like a stupid nomination. Like, I mean, I don't really know what all the nominations are, but it wasn't like, you know, like best, I don't know, video or best dressed. I don't even know if that exists. Or it, was, it all basically had to do with the music and with the hard work that I've put to get my music out there. Like best new artist, it had to do with my hard work, you know, and people getting the opportunity to listen to my music. And best rock album and best rock song had to do with, with my talent and my expression and with the people that are working around me. And so basically like all of them, I, I was pretty much proud of. Well, that's a great question. Um, it's actually easier for me to write in English sometimes, but if I really put my mind to it, it's easier. It, it's the same to write in Spanish. Um, the reason I wanted to record a mostly Spanish album, because there are English songs on it, is because I felt at the moment there was a lot of, of lack in the Latin music industry with artists that write their own songs, like female artists that write their own songs and that can stand up for themselves. And especially I wanted to put like a little edge and be the voice for those kids that are like me, that are bilingual and that want someone to relate to. And that's why I wanted to make my first album in Spanish. Um, and you know, I, I think that I've been compared a lot to whether it be Avril Lavigne or Shakira or whoever else it may be, but I mean, I think that my biculturalness, <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, gives me, um, it separates me from that because yeah, Shakira is singing English songs now, but you know, like she wasn't born into a an English-speaking world. She was born in Colombia and she went to school or had some tutor teach her to speak in English. And Avril Lavigne, you know, doesn't speak in Spanish. I was born in a Spanish household and I was born in America, so therefore I speak both languages. And I think that's what separates me from all those comparisons. Mm -hmm.